as in the rest of the world, a large proportion of agricultural land is used for farming livestock, mainly cattle and sheep, for meat and dairy production. Pastures and hay or silage crops dominate the landscape in spring and summer, and the harvesting of these crops accounts for a large proportion of the work on the modern farm. Straw also plays an important role, not only for industrial applications, but also for feeding and bedding on the farm. The baling, handling and transport of these crops are key factors in ensuring the farm's economic viability. Now, Ford New Holland has responded to this crucial challenge by launching a new range of medium and big balers that meet the many and varied requirements of dairy and arable farmers by providing low-cost, quality bales of the right size for all forms of storage, handling and transport. The range consists of the D710, the D1010 and the D1210. The first two also available as silage versions, making them true multi-crop balers, just like the larger D1210. Apart from all the features we will describe later when we see them in operation, all these balers share a common characteristic. They all produce rectangular bales, differing in size, but all forming stacks with a width of 240 centimeters, the maximum size permitted for on-road transport. The D1010 and the D1210 are designed for large farmers and contractors. Identical in concept, they differ only in bale width, but cater for different applications and meet different bale transport, handling and storage requirements. Both farm and industrial needs are covered with these two models. The D1210 is a truly multi-crop baler, working in silage, hay and straw. The D1010 is available both as a standard version for hay and straw and as a more fully equipped silage version, the one we will see throughout this video. D1010 bales are shaped for optimum stacking on the farm, on the flat, or on the side, as well as optimum loading of agricultural trailers, as the animation shows. Loading is always possible using normal tractors with simple loaders, while the wads ensure easy distribution once the twine has been cut, whether of well-preserved silage or of hay to be placed in the feeders. The high-density bales produced by the D1210 are the ideal solution for economical transportation on trucks and are of special interest for straw for industrial use. High-speed efficient loading and unloading saves money. And what we see here is ample proof that Ford New Holland has spared no effort in the development of these two big balers. They offer the market bale shapes that meet clearly defined needs in terms of dimensions and handling, compatible both with transport regulations and with the economics of handling on the farm. And now we can see them in action, showing all their state-of-the-art features. The minimum power required at 1000 RPM PTO is just 80 horsepower for the D1010 and 100 horsepower for the D1210, presenting no problem for the tractors commonly available with the farmers or contractors for whom they were developed. The pickup widths are 2 meters and 2.24 meters respectively. The small diameter of the reel, with 112 and 128 tines on four bars, makes these pickups extremely efficient on all crops, capable of collecting even the widest windrows. Sintering augers narrow the crop flow to the bale size, assuring well-formed bale edges. 
pickup chains and flotation springs are adjustable to suit field conditions. There is a full view on the pickup from the tractor seat and even the tightest turns are no problem thanks to the streamlined shape of the drawbar and wide angle drive shaft. 